Hello students, in continuation with quantum statistics, black body radiation. Previous lecture, we did Kirchhoff's law, which stated that ratio of emissive power to absorptive power is a constant and it is equal to the emissive power of a perfectly black body. Today, quantum oscillator. Now, quantum harmonic oscillator is the foundation of the understanding of complex modes of vibration in larger molecules. See, it, the energy here is quantized. It is occurring in multiples and it is quantized. So, the quantum oscillator is based on this principle only. A diatomic molecule vibrates or like somewhat you can imagine the vibration of a spring with potential energy. This energy depends upon the square of displacement from equilibrium. E is equal to half kx square if you remember the formula. So the energy levels are quantized at equally spaced values. E equal to nh mu as you can see here in this diagram. See the energy levels are equally quantized that is at equal spacing nh mu for n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. But for a uh, quantum oscillator is never at rest, even at absolute zero temperature. Planck's oscillator, this is also known as a radiation oscillator. It is an oscillator that can absorb or emit energy only in amounts that are integral multiples of Planck's constant times the frequency of the oscillator. So E is equal to nh mu. Planck's oscillators have quantized energies just as Bohr's orbit in an atom have quantized energies. The permitted energies of the oscillator are E equal to nh mu, where n is an integer, h is Planck's constant and mu is frequency associated with the oscillator. So, E equal to nh mu basically represents the quantized energy. Now, this question is a very favorite question of all exams which have this syllabus in their heading that show that average energy of a Planck's oscillator is given by E equal to h mu upon E to the power of h mu divided by kt minus 1 and also numericals are asked on this formula. So let us begin. See, now we have to find the average energy of a Planck's oscillator. See, number of oscillators in the range E and E plus del E, we will only consider that much. Now, for a linear oscillator of mass M undergoing simple harmonic oscillation or vibration is momentum is given by mass into velocity or you can say mass into rate of change of velocity. Now let B be the force constant. Then potential energy is given by half Bx square. Kinetic energy is half mv square where v is dx by dt. So instead of that we have written it p square upon 2m. Total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy and frequency of oscillator is given by mu equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root b upon m where b is a constant. So, we put this formula here. It is very easy. Once just understand the terms. Now, when large number of such oscillators are in thermal equilibrium, uh, we use the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law where in the previous lecture we have done it in detail. The number of oscillations within x and x plus dx and momentum range p and p plus dp. If you remember previous lecture, we had covered this point that the phase space number of oscillators will be given by dn is equal to n 
into a where a is a constant of proportionality into e to the power of minus e upon kt dx dp and total number of uh, uh, oscillators number dn equal to n now if you plot let us consider that uh, we have taken two ellipses such that the energy values of e and e plus del e are being considered in between these ellipses. Let del E be a very small quantity in almost constant. Hence, in thermal equilibrium, the number of oscillators represented is given by del N equal to N A E to the power of minus E upon KT integral dx dp. Now, look here. Look at this diagram here. If xm and pm are the maximum values of x and p for the ellipse of total energy E, then they are representing the major and the minor axis of the ellipse. Here, this is E and E1 is E plus delhi, and we are only taking the space between them. We have discussed this diagram also in under Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. If you want, you can refer to it again. And we are only concerned with the area of this ellipse, which is equal to pi x m p m. Now, putting these values in the energy where we said that total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Now, x m is equal to under root 2 e upon b, where b is a constant. We will put this value and momentum E is equal to P square upon 2M. So PM is equal to under root 2ME. Area of ellipse pi XM PM is equal to 2 pi E under root M upon B. We put these values and we use the formula for frequency 1 upon 2 pi under root B by M and 1 upon mu equal to 2 pi under root M by B. Area of ellipse is equal to total energy divided by frequency. So total energy is E plus del E area of ellipse becomes E plus del E upon mu area of elliptic ring between the two energy ellipses gives us the uh, area corresponding to the elliptic ring is integral across dx dp equal to del E by mu. We put this value of dx dp equal to del E by mu in this formula, the total del N. And we get this expression. A1 can be written as A upon mu. And putting this value of A1 here in this expression, we get for like this is the ellipse we are talking about. And we know that the area of each ring is equal to H. So the innermost ring in itself is an ellipse of area H. The ellipses are numbered as 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So the total area inside the rth ring is equal to Rh. Total energy of oscillator E equal to Rh mu. Area of ellipse into frequency. So the number of oscillators on the ring RR n into a1 e to the power of minus e by kt del e where e is rh mu and n naught is n a1 del e total energy of the oscillator is equal to sigma 0 to infinity rh mu n r so n r is equal to n naught e to the power of minus rh mu by kt so total energy we put all these formulas and we get sigma 0 to infinity r h mu n naught e to the power of minus r h mu by k t. Now, what we will do, we will sum up this series using binomial theorem. And once we apply binomial theorem to this series, the total number of oscillators is given by n is equal to sigma 
zero to infinity n r equal to sigma zero to infinity n naught e to the power of minus r h mu by k t. Again, we will use uh, binomial theorem to sum up the series and the average energy will be given by E total divided by N. And simplifying this expression, we get average energy of Planck's oscillator is equal to H mu upon E to the power of minus H mu by kT minus 1. Next lecture we will discuss numerical on Planck's oscillator. Thank you.